Tonight will be the third night in a row, uh, third clear night hopefully in a row, since I uh, found a light leak after, most probably I caused it, uh, after or during uh, removing of the uh, main mirror and uh, yeah, untighten the, the clamps holding the main mirror. Uh, most probably I caused a light leak from, from the bottom, let's say, or from the main mirror side. Last night I used a yeah, black uh, garbage bag uh, and yeah, a tape and this was actually yeah, was almost quite nice, was working very nice but today I will try a, a kind of a black shower cap uh, I bought and it seems to be quite mm. dense let's say with regard to the light. Maybe I will also use some uh, aluminium foil, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Let's do the uh, setup. Power for the camera, USB 3 for the camera, for the main camera. Um, then we have USB for guiding. And we also have the SD4 for guiding and USB for guiding. Okay, and we also have another USB cable for the uh, focuser. Okay. Checking if all cables are really connected here. Move the cap. Uh, now I will do some test balancing. Um, of course, with the weight of the cap, the dew heater cap. Um, Okay, it's quite nice. Uh, then we have our water balance here. Oh, actually, very nice. This is actually very nice. Um, yeah, it's nice. That's nice. Okay. Actually, nice to do it in the daytime to see something. <laughs> uh, it's actually very nice. Wow. Okay. Now it's just a slight movement. This got ready. Something here. This is nice. 
that's us that's well balanced nice 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 oh, that's nice okay I will do the collimation and that's it actually <laughs> Besides M81 and M82, which I showed you last time, I was also very interested to get an image of the famous C2022E3 Comet. In fact, it was the very first time for me ever to image a comet, so it was really special for me. First, I was interested to find the exact location of that comet. To get an object in Stellarium, I used a really helpful video on YouTube. Please see uh, the link in the video description. And then I implemented Stellarium into Nina to get the exact coordinates for this object. Here I also link a very helpful video in the video description down below. And finally I found the comet. It was so cool to see. I was also able to see it moving. Since I had no idea how to process the single images of a comet, uh, I used another <laughs> uh, YouTube video, uh, which was also very helpful for me. Uh, also see the link in the video description. And finally, I got the final image. For the first time imaging a comet, I was really happy with the result. And then, about one and a half hours before the clouds rolled in, I had the opportunity to shoot another target. M27 Dumble Nebula. and new videos and so on and um, yeah thank you for watching and see you next time clear skies mm -hmm.